Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about uh, banana plants and the best way to grow and maintain your clump of bananas. Whether you have an uh, existing clump of bananas that's mature and you want to get more banana production out of it, or you're planting uh, bananas for the first time, hopefully today's tips will be able to help you out. As a general rule of thumb, you want to keep your um, clump to three stalks only. The ideal situation is to have a mature stem that's either producing bananas or on the verge of producing bananas. The second stem that you want to have is half the height of a mature one. So you have one at 10 feet and then one at about five feet tall. And the third one is gonna be a sucker just coming up out of the ground and everything else you wanna extract. There's two kinds of suckers you wanna familiarize yourself with. The first one is called a water sucker and the second one is a sword sucker. Uh, they're gonna look a little bit different when they come out of the ground and it's important to know the difference because your water suckers are gonna take forever to put on fruit and they're gonna kind of drain energy out of your clump and you don't wanna keep them around. Um, your sword suckers are gonna be really vigorous uh, growing and when they're gonna produce a lot faster and the rack is gonna be bigger as well. So it's important to identify the two. This is your sword sucker. Um, the biggest sign is that the leaves are super thin, um, almost sword-like, that's hence the name. Um, and you'll notice as they come up out of the ground, their height is going to increase very rapidly and uh, the leaves are not going to grow much in, um, in width. This on the other hand is a water sucker. Uh, you notice the extremely broad leaves and how it's really short to the ground and the leaves are already unfurled and, and really wide. Uh, this is a definite water sucker. Uh, this clump has not been taken care of in a while, so we have, you know, three large stems here, and then we have a bunch coming out from the ground, which is not ideal. Now I'm going to demonstrate how I would clean up this clump to be more productive. To explain what I just did to manage this clump, um, this is the main stem that's going to produce our next crop of bananas that I want to keep. The other large ones were too big, too close to the same height, so I just got rid of those. All the water suckers had to go, no matter how big or small they were, so all the water suckers I just cut right out. Um, I know that this variety of banana only gets to about six feet tall, so it's almost at full maturity. So this sword sucker that I decided to keep here is about the right height because it's going to be the second one in line, about half the, the height of the mature one. And I'll let this grow. Any other suckers I see in the meantime are going to be cut out. And once this is producing bananas, I'll leave a third sword sucker to come up out of the ground to be next in line. You may not know this, but uh, stem will only produce one rack of bananas and that's it. So after your mature stem is done producing the bananas, it has to be cut out of the clump. We're across the street now at the farm and I just wanted to give you an example of a sword sucker that needs to be extracted that you can actually go and replant somewhere else in your yard. This sword sucker is uh, good for extraction. It's already grown up at least a foot tall, if not two feet tall. And the leaves have started to get wider as they, as they mature. Um, and the trick that you wanna do to get this guy out is you're gonna be cutting into the corm of the banana plant. And I wanna put my shovel back up against the mother as straight as an angle as I can and just chop right down into it. And you'll feel some crunching and start to pry back and forth. Come over to the side, do the same. 
come over this side. So you can see the, the corn that I cut into is fresh and open. And it's important that you let this heal over for a couple days uh, in a nice dry spot out of the sun somewhere so that this can kind of scab over. Because if you go and you plant it somewhere else, it could be open for infections to come in. Um, but this would be a, a perfect um, sword sucker to go and plant in your yard or give to a neighbor. Um, you just want to make sure before you plant it that your banana clump does not have any disease to it, Panama disease or anything, because then this is going to go and spread that disease to another location. So if it's disease free, uh, you have another banana plant to go put in your yard. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you were able to learn something. And now that you know, why don't you go out and go bananas. <laughs>